Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest on 2K in existence. Look man, they saying post scores are gonna be OP in 2K24. Other devs are calling out the, the fake devs that are saying it's gonna be overpowered and they saying it's not gonna be overpowered. Comp meta dribblers, stage gods, been in the 2K league is saying, we're not gonna be able to get open versus these new reformed lockdowns. Did they finally put defense in the game? Devs are being exposed for just tweeting for impressions. You know, you know. So before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Help me hit 276.3K. We are like 80 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. It helps young Swan grow. Solo tweets out that Demon Demi said post score is gonna be overpowered in 2K24. <laughs> Duh. They've been overpowered since 2K17, right? Like extremely overpowered and broken, especially in, in them eras. I guess he was saying this in a space. I don't be in them spaces, bro. So when, when they be talking about stuff, y'all gotta let me know. Screenshots, screen recordings, whatever. But another dev who actually makes all the post scoring stuff in the badges, he said false. I don't know if he's trolling or what. I don't know if he got a secret problem with Demi. I don't know if he got a problem with how he's going out there and then coming back and trying to like really like absorb all the clout because they don't do that right they they just be silent but you know demi you know he's all just saying stuff and they're probably getting mad at him saying stuff that isn't true right this is why he blocked me because i showed that he keeps saying stuff that isn't true right and it's it's misleading people it's a it's not good <laughs> It's wasting people's bread in the most expensive game in, in video game history. Now here goes a part of a space where a game tester who used to be in the 2K league and is a comp stage player every year since like uh, 2K20. This is how he feels about the game, right? Listen, very closely. Fanta is someone you can trust about like what's going on. Like, because he's passionate about the game, right? So he gonna like keep it like, you know, like somewhat uh, 1,000. Like he's not going, you know, this does not benefit him to say this. He really find this as an issue. Let's see what he got to say. Information that's given out about like, boom, no more fading on the three point line. And boom, you seen Demi try to hint at the fact that, well, you may not need quick stop, yada, yada, yada. That's where I have a huge question mark in terms Ooh. of so, okay, you have locks who are already very good at the game with the sliding with the information that's given out about like, boom, no more fading on the three point line and boom, you seen damage. They saying fading is nerfed, which makes like no sense because every year they're making the game for the casual to make the casuals be able to fade at the three. You got to make that hole easy, but they're all saying it's nerfed now, which is good. They finally listen. It's not good for the game, but let, let, let's, let's see what else Fanta gotta say. Try to hint at the fact that, well, you may not need quick stop, yada, yada, yada. Ooh. That's where I have a huge question mark in terms of, so, okay, mm. you have locks who are already very good at the game with the sliding, with etc., cetera, mm. and they will crunch a guard who can speed boost and fade uh -huh. on the three point line in this, in this game already. Uh -huh. So now you upgrade the locks. Now they're like super crunching, super sturdy, bumping you like. He's saying that the locks are OP and broke. I do want this, but I think, okay? I think, again, they have nerfed the offense to try to create a, dilute, a illusion of defense. You feel me? What if your player is just so slow and clunky and your speed boost is so slow that you really just can't really get past somebody like that i don't like that i think both sides need to be op you feel me i do want immaculate defense i want so great defense but don't put us in molasses bro that's not basketball but we're gonna see what else he has to say not sliding at all except now it's a lot slow. they remove sliding there's no way. Bro, if they remove sliding, that's a W. Do y'all understand how bad defense has been? They remove sliding and they really made it to where you can get bumpy and you can react to the offense. That is a huge W if they, if, bro, 
if they really implemented defense, that is a huge W. But I, it just doesn't make sense to me because all gaming is going casual, right? Maybe they're starting to listen to me that making your game too casual ruins the game, right? A person who plays 2K once a week, they, they should not be successful in any way, bro. <laughs> that ruins your game. But let's let's see what else he got to say. Lighting at all, except now it's a lot slower in terms of like things we can offensively do on the three-point line. You see, it's like you see, they slowed the dribbling down again. They slowed the movement down. 23 is already in my last and they're slowing it down again. That sounds horrible horrible look no negative feedback anything you listen from people who play 2k24 if they're never giving you no type of negative feedback it's not real it's an illusion you gotta look through fana just said that hoe is more slower how do you get slower than 23 bro just buff the defense if defense is better in past 2ks it's you like fix the game get better developers or a new engine or something. You just don't keep nerfing the damn offense, bro. That's horrible. No one likes that. But let, let's see what else he got to say. That's my, it's liter quite literally my only worry about 24. Everything <laughs> yeah, else. They're going to take, they they take away the phase, man. They got to bring back them quick drop. I mean, quick stops, yeah, man. Yeah, if you I don't mean, take it, that's my biggest yeah. thing. If you're going to take away those fades, you need to make it to where yeah, hey, let me we, stop, have a, man. we have a speed boost we can instantly shoot out of. So we also have delayed speed boost that we can't shoot out of. That's crazy, bro. This sh sounding horrible to me now. I didn't even hear this. This sound horrible to me. Delayed speed boost. Is is this, is this how they finally put defense in the game? Just slow down the offense? Horrible. And by the way, there's never been defense in the game since 2K16. Period. Anyone saying otherwise is lost. There, there's never been a 2K where, oh, the first month defense was good and then you got it patched. No, there's never been defense. There's never been no lateral defense. There's never been no paint defense onto the levels that it used to be. Having RNG steals, that's not defense. That's an aspect of defense. Why do you think they say stop reaching and play defense? That's literally a real life saying. What the what y'all are experiencing is people learn how to play people find better builds people find the best badges people find the best sigs they learn how to play and then expose that there's no d in the game when people don't know how to play you might be able to play a lot more defense but when then when people learn the meta how to dribble how to get wiggle wiggly how to get effective then that's what y'all are experiencing please stop saying this stop saying there's ever been defense in the game there has not. 19, the defense was better than these newer 2Ks, but the shot contest system was way worse than these newer 2Ks. It was horrible, which made it seem like you had no defense. And then there was a dribble glitch, so you could dribble through people. But the tracking, how you could track people and keep up with them was way better than these newer 2Ks. Same with 20, but still, even in 20, you could dribble glitch through people. Y'all probably don't even know what that is. And then in 17, that's when the defense started to go down, but that was the 2K where, that was the last 2K where you could guard your own man and didn't need a lockdown if you play any type of competition, right? So a 2K where you don't even need lockdown stats and you're just a playmaker and you could guard ball versus comp, that is the best way but it's like mm. they they said like they're saying they giving us all our freedom and shit, but how Th this dude just said we can't instantly burst out of a speed boost that is horrible how we on next gen consoles and we're not getting more freedom we're just getting more restricted bro that doesn't even make sense it's so weird be like like yeah, yeah like, because i'm blocking they're gonna they gon they gon close in too fast yeah. So, 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 do you feel like do you feel like the speed boost is quick enough to get us open though, if we're using the right move, or do you? Feel I like don't. I don't know if they've like showed or given out information on that already. So I'm honestly just gonna like not. Yeah, speak. Yeah. You see what he's saying? He's saying speed boost is slow. That's what he's saying. Listen, guys, I want defense in the game more than anyone. Scottie Pippen used to be my favorite player. Ray Lewis was my favorite football player, bro. You feel me? So once, once I found out Future did Scotty's, Scotty's crazy i couldn't and then they exposed him the documentary for being a lame i couldn't i couldn't mess with him no more bro i want defense in the game but not at the sacrifice of offense bro just makes the game boring 
and it reduces the skill gap dramatically. But I hope there's defense in the game, bro. Please, like, y'all get my message kind of messed up. You're not under, like, I speak from, I don't speak on theory. I speak on what has already existed. You feel me? Now, I wasn't in this space, so that's why y'all gotta record these clips for me. Now, Jabridge tweets out, you're not going to be able to get the most glitchy moves at lower ratings. Fana says, I don't know if he actually knows this. It's probably just like what they're telling people. But they're, I don't think like he like knows this because they introduced like so many different SIGs. So how would he know this? You feel me? I think that's a fallacy. And I think there's going to be SIGs even at the lower ratings just like every year that's going to be able to get started. You, you're going to be able to get started with. Yeah, let me know how y'all feel about it. Okay, so Fana said that they made adjustments based off his feedback. He went there two different weeks to test the game, and changes were made based on what he said. So he he a stage guy. So hopefully, hopefully it gets better, bro. Fana said it's hard to lose all the three adrenaline bars. That's a W. Um, I don't think it should be in the game, to be honest, bro. 2K has been perfectly fine without adrenaline, but hopefully this is some type of good addition to the game, but I doubt it, bro. All it all it really does is hurt casuals, and it just makes people left-right more, but now they're saying you don't lose adrenaline from actually dribbling so you could be more creative instead of just left-righting versus comp, which y'all cry about. Y'all don't understand adrenaline makes people left-right more than ever. Which ruins the game. He's saying it's harder to green. Fan is saying it's harder to green. Very specific. Who knows about that? That doesn't make sense to me, right? Because all gaming is going more casual, right? So to then make the game harder is kind of... It's like 2K's marketing tactic is to make it seem like they're doing this, but then not saying, oh, it's actually casual. They're like, they want to promote everything as skill-based because that's what they think everyone wants to be lied to like that, right? Oh, skill base, realistic, realism. It's now going to take skill and, and all. But progressively over the years, they're making it more casual based to they think that's going to garner a bigger audience. And that's what they want because they want money, right? So to make it harder is directly opposite. They had to be listening to me because I had to be the only one really preaching why you have to have a skill gap in your game but hopefully it's harder to green fana also said i guess rim running like it was in 23 is patched for 24. this is insane too because if you're catering to a casual base it's like they had to be listening to me because i was one of the only few really preaching about how you need a skill gap in your game to be able to stop people just slashing non-stop that means you adding a skill gap. That sound, bro. If this is true, it's a huge W, bro. You feel me? Huge W. Then he says, I don't think 2K24 is going to be balanced. You feel me? For Fanas to say this, right? Publicly, he's one of the only ones keeping it real. For him to say this, like he's not one of the corporate guys on his knees, like taking loads, like. You know, getting, getting, you know, just, just looking up in the air and just taking the, you know, he's not like take, like he's saying, cause he's passionate about the game. He wants to be good. He cares about that. Right. He's a competitive gamer. He says, I don't think it's going to be balanced. It's going to be very defensive oriented. So that probably means this out, right? That's probably how he secretly feels, but he's probably just not going to say it. He did not like 2K23, right? And he's probably just like, man, they put us in the molasses, the slow-mo, we're, we're gonna be moving sluggish, so that's why they can guard you and do all this and that. And, hey, man. <laughs> Hopefully not, bro. Hopefully the game is immaculate and there's defense and your offense, you can still get wiggly and you're quick, just like in real life. But we gonna find out, dog. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this. Now look, y'all heard what Fanta said about the quick stops, right? Demi saying, lots of you are asking me about quick stops, especially now that fades aren't as effective. Fades nerf, leak, 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 leak. But remember, let go of your 2K23 strategies. You might not even need to quick stop in 2K24. You did not need to quick stop in the golden era of 2K because you could shoot on a dime. 
They removed being able to shoot on a dime and having that instant responsiveness with no loadups. You know why they added way more loadups and slow shooting mechanics and all that? To cater to the casuals. They want y'all to be able to keep up with a skilled player. So they created a lot of delays and slow movement so you can keep up. Even though the defense was good enough, but the skill of the user wasn't good enough to keep up, right? This is why they added all those animations to cater to casuals. This is why I be telling y'all, y'all don't even like the things you hate is still catered towards y'all. They just, they're just lying to you about it. You feel me? Then he says, this game is set to offer an amazing level of freedom for dribbling that will truly let you shine on the court Ankle breakers are making a comeback and creating separation is entirely possible. Bro, if ankle breakers are making a comeback, that would be immaculate. That is true 2K. If you make a slow 2K, the ankle breakers have to be immaculate. If you make a fast 2K, the ankle breakers have to be low. You feel me? Like for instance, 17 was slow. Y'all might not think that, but I'm comparing it to like 16 and 15, right? 16 and 15 had low ankle breaker, but the game speed was faster. 17 was slower, but you could get ankle breakers, right? So it made it better. And by the way, comp players did not get their ankles broke, only bots. I rarely got my ankles broke because I know how to play defense. There's certain ways you can avoid getting your ankle bro ankles broke, right? Stuns, all that. If you want to learn, you need to watch this channel and I will literally teach you how to never get your ankles broken. You feel me? This is fun for the game. Ankle breakers are fun, bro. A lot of y'all, y'all take this like way too serious and it adds a skill gap, but you can avoid ankle breakers and really set the person up for to where you get a steal on them or just mess them up. But y'all don't understand that. But he says, if your dribbling skills are up to par, uh, and we know you cap it. Pro play is introducing a new dimension of gameplay once nba 2k24 is in your hands you understand what i mean and if you're still stuck in your 2k23 ways maybe ask your stretch to switch to an inside big and practice holding that circle button just saying so he's saying people gonna need screens i also heard insides are gonna be making a comeback <clears throat> i don't think they understand bro the only way insides and screens will make a comeback is if you don't lose your adrenaline while you're dribbling and y'all said y'all fixed that so then they could may probably make a comeback but we gonna see man. but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome